Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pinion. I bring you today's word for September 16, 2016. It's a Friday morning. I love closing out the week strong and heading into the weekend strong. So let's get into it. This message is part of a series entitled Refine Focus, where all year long we've been learning to recalibrate our focus. And for months now, we've been studying the parable of the sower. I call it the mother of all parables. Why? Because when the disciples came and said, well, Jesus, can you explain this thing to us? You talk about a farmer, talk about some seed, four different types of soil. Jesus said, well, if you don't understand Understand this parable, then how can you understand any parable? So you really have to understand this parable. We've been studying it for months. I'm going to go back to it this morning. The title of today's message is The Word Causes You to Grow. And I'm putting the emphasis on you, and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. So let's get into it. Mark chapter 4, verses 13 through 20. Jesus is providing that explanation the disciples asked for, and this is what he said. The farmer is like someone who sows seed down inside of people. Now, sometimes the seed falls along the wayside. Now, these are like the people that receive the Word of God. However, they don't don't understand it. So the, uh, as soon as uh, they, the seed is sown in the heart, because they don't understand it, Satan comes immediately and snatches away the word that was sown in the heart. Other people are like seed that's planted on rocky ground. Now this, these people have a thin layer of soil, so they have a surface level relationship with the Father. They receive the word of God they quickly and gladly accept it. You know, they high five their neighbor in church. They real, they get real excited. They clap their hands. They leave pumped up. However, they don't allow the word to go deep into their lives. So as soon as trouble comes or persecution comes because of the word, then these people, they're quick to give up. Now, other people, a lot of people actually are like this third ground. He said, other people like seed that's planted on thorny ground. Now, these people receive the word of God. However, they've allowed their lives to become full of other things. The cares of this world, the love of money and everything else they want becomes weeds that grow up and choke out the word. And then lastly, other people like good ground. And uh, this is what Jesus said about this. He said, people that are good ground, they hear the teaching. They gladly accept it. Then they grow and produce a crop, sometimes 30 times more, sometimes 60 times more, and even sometimes 100 times more. I want to focus in on, on what he, Jesus said there about the good ground. They hear the teaching, they accept it, then they grow and produce a crop. This morning, as I was reading that, the Holy Spirit kind of just emphasized something for me because I, I hadn't really paid much attention to it. Jesus, because I was putting the emphasis on the seed and the seed growing. Jesus said, no, the people that are good ground, they receive the seed and then they grow. Jesus didn't say the seed grows, right? So, you know, let me, let me, let me just highlight this to be very clear. The person Jesus likens to good ground is a person who accepts the word of God. And in context, right, they're not like one of the first three grounds. So they've already cleared their lives uh, of other things, uh, things that would choke out the word. And they position themselves to be to be receptive to the word of God, to where the word of God can produce change in them. So this is a person who is free of competing priorities, right? So so now they, they have given the word of God first place. Uh, and now as they accept the word of God, the word of God is a seed, it gets down in the heart. And then Jesus said, they grow. Jesus once again didn't say the seed grows. He said, they grow. The seed is the word of God sown in our heart into the soil of our heart. And when the word of God, the seed is sown in our heart, we grow. How does, this, how does the seed grow? How does the seed produce? In us. We are the people that actually grow and develop because of the word of God. That's what I'm focusing on today. What does this mean to you today? I have five quick things to share with you. Let's get into them. So we can close out the week strong, head into the weekend strong. Number one, the word of God is spirit and life, right? Jesus said, the words that I give you, they are spirit, they are life, there's power, there's boundless potential in the word of God. The word of God is supernatural. The word of God is limitless. So when the word of God is sown in your heart, it causes supernatural change. It produces supernatural change in you. Number two, when God places his word in you to grow, he does not refer to the word growing. He refers to you growing. So it's not like the word is, even though it's a seed, doesn't really grow in and of itself. It just causes you to grow and you to develop. And this is very important because we all should want to grow. Number three, the more you get God's word down in your heart, the better position you are to change your mind, the way you think, to change your emotions, the way you feel, and to change your will the way you make decisions. So your mind is your thinker, your emotions is your feeler, and your will is your chooser, and your mind, your emotions, and your will will be changed through the word of God. The more you get the word of God down in your heart, the more you make it a practice uh, to get the word down in you, or read it on a, on a daily basis, then you're going to wake up one morning and realize that the word of God has caused you to change. 
The word of God didn't change, but it caused you to change. And that change happened from the inside out. Number four, make it a daily practice to get like, for, for those of you that watch this video every day or that read today's word every day or that open up your Bible every day, that's good. Because if you make it a daily practice to get the word of God down in your heart, then it's going to produce in your life. And I like what, what, um, what the Bible says, even in another place about this, he says that a farmer sows seed in the ground and he, he listens and he goes to sleep. And while he's sleeping, the seed is working. He doesn't even know how the harvest happens. He just like, you know, he just puts the seed in the ground and then he walks away. And while he's sleeping, the seed is working. While he's up, the seed is working. While he's down, the seed is working. It doesn't matter. The seed is working. Why? Because it's in the ground. And so if you make it a daily habit to get the word of God down in your heart, if you make it a daily practice to get the word of God down in your heart, then listen. You don't have to know how the thing is going to work. Whether, whether you're sleeping or you're awake, you could be working or you could be sleeping and the word is still working. The word will be working in your life, in your heart to produce change from the inside out. Number five, and finally, the seed of the word of God sown in your heart produces a harvest in your life. But God, uh, God doesn't do this by making the seed grow. He actually does this by making you grow, right? So, so the last point I'm making here is that you're the harvest from the seed. Now, and, and, and as the Holy Spirit highlighted this to me this morning, I, I thought that that was pretty cool. We are the harvest from the seed. So you got the seed, the seed is sown in our heart. And what harvest does it produce? It produces us. It produces uh, men and women that are submitted to the Father. It produces men and women that are walking, talking evangels for Jesus. That we, It produces light and salt. It produces love in the midst of hatred. It produces us. It produces changed lives. We become the harvest for all the world to see. Listen, people can't see the word sown in your heart. So when you go to church or you watch this video and the word is being sown in your heart, people can't see that. They can't see the word in your heart, but they can see you. They can see the change that that word produces. So you become that harvest. As you head into this day, you become that harvest. As you head into this weekend, you become that harvest for all the world to see. Let's close this out with a declaration of faith. Open up your mouth and say this. Say, Father, this is a season of refined focus for me. I bring my life into focus in 2016. This is my season. Glory to God. This is my time. I'm ready to grow. I'm ready to develop. And I do this in you. I get your word down in my heart on a daily basis. The power and potential found in your word is unleashed in my life. The seed of your word does not grow in my heart it actually causes me to grow. I am the harvest that is produced from your word. I am the change that is produced for all the world to see. So Father, I thank you for sowing your word in me and for causing me to grow from the inside out. Use me, Father, today and this weekend for your glory. I declare this by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. This is today's word apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org. Look on the right-hand side of the website and sign up and get the messages. They're going to be a blessing to you. Just listen, as you head into this day, become that change. The word of God is in you, whether you're sleeping or you're awake is working. But as it changes, as it produces change in you, allow the world to see that change. Open up your heart and expose to people. Tell your story, tell your testimony. Become the change for all the world to see. God bless you.